Good morning, babes. If this is your first time seeing me, hi, my name is Ron. If not, welcome back, babes, and welcome to another video here on my channel. Y'all know there's something different? Yeah. So, for y'all who don't know, I dyed my hair back brown. Um, for y'all who don't know, my hair used to be ginger. If this is your first time seeing me, you're probably like, girl, what are you talking about? Yeah, I used to be ginger. And I literally just dyed it a day ago, two days ago, two days ago. Take three seconds to get stabbed. We're back to brown, y'all. Mm hmm. I literally dyed my own hair. Um, the only thing I might be doing different is I might be adding highlights at some point, but for now, back to brown, babe. Okay, school is about to start. School's around the corner, y'all. When I say around the corner, I mean it is Thursday, school starts on Monday. Okay, babe, we got a lot to get done, and best believe we're getting it done. We have a nail appointment today, a lash appointment tomorrow, and we're outside on Saturday. So, y'all know how I get. I love bringing you guys to my appointments. I love running errands with y'all, so that's what we finna do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what I, I'm trying to figure out right now what I want to eat for dinner. And if I need Kim to take the meat out the freezer. <laughs> y'all, we gotta get headed to our destination. Right now, y'all, we are headed to my nail appointment these are the nails that we want y'all okay and i'm not gonna lie i have hair dye on my nails so they look kind of crazy right now but that's not the point it says turn by turn directions are not available to get here what is he talking about yeah it was tripping okay my phone was just acting up but we're about to head to the spot my appointment's at 5 30 is currently 4 30 but y'all know how traffic gets in atlanta okay i'm not playing with nobody i'm not missing my appointment this weekend is one of my close friends. Her name is Kanai. It's her birthday. So we're going to be outside for her birthday this weekend. So I'm really getting ready to get, you know, everything ready for school and stuff. Getting my lashes done, getting my nails done, whatever. I also wanted to get my lashes and nails done because y'all haven't had it done for ever. I also really wanted to dye my hair before we went back to school. And I was going to go get it done by the girl that previously dyed my hair ginger. But I ended up just dyeing it myself. Really love it. I really do like it. I feel like... I kind of missed it like I hadn't had my brown hair in a long time it's definitely been a minute ginger was cute it was an era I loved her okay but it was definitely time to go back brown it's a little bit darker than I would have thought I wanted it to be but we're in the sun you, it's a lot lighter but even still I kind of like the color I think it'll be really cute for fall too like transitioning into fall and yeah I'm very happy I like the base color so from here I would probably just add highlights so yeah I will see you guys whenever i get to the nail spot y'all know how i get hopefully i don't be too shy and i can get a little bit of footage for you guys it might not be on this camera but hopefully i can record my phone a little bit of footage or something i will see you guys after or when we're at my nail appointment okay y'all i just pulled up i'm here we're about to go inside in a second it's 5 27 so we a little bit early y'all traffic was trafficking like that's like no, that traffic was so bad, y'all. I was not, I was not messing with that at all. It took me mad long to get here. Like, usually it takes me like 30 minutes to get here, and it took me like 45 to almost 50 minutes. I did not like that. But we're here now, about to get my nails done. When you see me, I'm gonna be annoying, but looking like a bad bitch. Okay. Like that black line, y'all. I don't know why I does that. But look at my flowers. I need to buy new ones, y'all. Good morning, babes. Welcome to day two of the vlog. Doing my skincare right now. Hi, how are you guys? How'd you sleep? Um, y'all, I'm tired. It's early. It's like 7:30. No, that was a lot. It's probably like 8:20. Or is it even 8 o'clock yet? Come on, long as Y'all, it's 8.02 and I forgot that I don't even have to be up until 8.30. Um. Anyways, I kept waking up. I literally woke up at 6 and then like 7.48 or some shit like that. And so that's why I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to stay up. 
Apparently, I'm ready to be up. And I'm about to take a nap when I get my lashes done. Y'all know the infamous lash nap, if you know, you know. That shit always hits so different. Um, this will be my first time going to this lash tech, y'all. I've never been to her before. It was my first time. My nail appointment went amazing yesterday. Y'all see, I tried to sneak y'all some footage. Next time I'm getting my nails done, I'll definitely be more confident to record. But definitely not recording my lash appointment, y'all. I'm scary. <laughs> Y'all know I'm scary. This is my first time ever meeting her. And I don't really know how to record lash appointments. Like, I know people be just holding the camera to their face, but first of all, I wouldn't know if the camera was on me. Two, I would get tired of holding it. And I don't know. I just don't know how they be doing that. I never, the one time I did record getting my lashes done, um, my lash tag, it was my other lash tag. And she, like, let me put my camera on a little stool and everything. It was real fucking cute. Pretty sure I ended up losing that footage. But not the point. Cute. Like, yes, ma'am. Ah. Yes, y'all finna see me talking with my hands a lot, doing a lot. Be a lot more dramatic with my hands because when my nails are done, I am a lot more dramatic with my hands. Like, I already talk with my hands and stuff a lot, but when my nails are done, you all see that my nails are done. If you know, you know, right? This is a Chrome Hearts charm, and there's another charm that like matches it. Cause like that's their logo or whatever their decals so she ran out of the other one so we had to use this decal instead but maybe they're really cute i really like it um very similar to the picture that i showed you guys yesterday before we went in um i will say we do have to go to the i will say we do have to go to the bank or the atm so i can take out some money for my appointment y'all <laughs> Yo, let me tell y'all this. This is when I realized, I already knew, but this is when I really realized that a lot of, or at least, no, let me not, let me not say that. At least the boys, not men, the boys, I used to, like, obviously I'm, I'm saying used to with quotations because obviously there still are like low vibrational men um, sorry, boys, and like boys that are like this, like around. Not mean like they're in my life or anything like that, but like you know, like associated, like you know, just want to be seen, all that stuff. Like y'all know, y'all know what I mean. So tell me why. <laughs> tell me why this dude was like. He was like, I have flowers for you whenever you're ready. Like I have a flower bouquet. Um, come on never seen this one before right but he was like oh i got you flowers like because we just like met he was like oh i got you flowers i really want to take you out on a date da, 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 da. he was like he's like i know you're busy though boo, boo. he's like but i have flowers for you he's like just let me know how to get them to you all i want to do is just drop off a bouquet of flowers yo why was i like oh my god i'm so cool oh my god oh my god oh my god like that's so cute like oh that's so sweet i didn't do the most oh uh, thank you thank you Bunky. he was like <laughs> what are you talking about what's so cute i haven't done nothing i was like oh that's what i realized <laughs> bare minimum bare minimum he was basically just like well, i haven't done nothing yet like that's the baby that's that's bare minimum that's the bottom of the barrel what are you talking about i was like oh you right you you so right bookie i mean you so right it just caught me off guard because i'm not used to niggas even being able to reach bare minimum like to most boys this is them and this is the bare minimum. I say all that to say that that was funny and it made me giggle. And then it also made me realize that there really is a guy out there who will do everything that you want. And that just made me realize that there is a guy out there who will do everything that you want to your standards. You will not have to change it. Whether you're a girl or a guy, there's someone out there for you. You'll, you won't have to waver on your standards none of that okay until then bookie do exactly what i'm doing and just love yourself spend time with yourself 
um, learn more about yourself. So when that time does come, you'll be very confident and very assured of what you want, how you want it, and who you are as an individual, what you bring to the table. All that, all that, all that. Don't know why that fake turned into like a little rant. But yeah. Last thing I'm finna say about this. We ain't doing no links. Okay, we're not linking. Call me Abraham because we are not linking. Okay. If a if a boy keep realize I keep saying boy because a man I really could talk about this topic all day because I was just listening to this podcast and it was like saying like all this stuff like how girls only want certain stuff because of social media. For example, oh girls only want flowers because on social media, girls be getting flowers. They only want flowers all of a sudden because girls on social media be getting flowers. Who said that? Who said that? First of all, if they wanted to, they would. If he or she wanted to, he or she would, okay? I feel like when it comes to certain things, like for example, a guy might have had a long-term relationship, but in that long-term relationship, the girl he was with just wasn't a big flower person, didn't mind not getting flowers, wasn't really just wasn't really into it, right? They break up, he moves on and goes to a different girl, but this girl loves flowers. She'll make it known to him, you know, because I will say like some people like generally don't know, like if a guy is not used to like girls even wanting flowers or anything like that, he literally might not know like that. Oh, you actually want flowers. So boom, I'll say, you know, say it one little time. I like flowers. When you come pick me up, well, the first time you see me, first, first date, whatever, flowers. I'll tell you my bare minimums for a first date, bare minimum. The How we even got to the day, to the date, better have been them texting me like, oh, time, place, all that, right? I don't want to play on the date. If you're trying to see me, you're trying to ask me on a date, don't ask me what we're doing, don't ask me none of that. Like, just tell me when and where, I'll be ready. The occasion, like, you know, when to wear, I'll be ready. I'm talking flowers and opening every single door. Shouldn't have to touch a door. Shouldn't have have to look at a closed door. Okay, <laughs> but those are my two like bare minimums on a date. I'm gonna let you know because I know that not every single girl that's a necessity to them. Like they don't care to have the door open. They don't care to do this or do that. Back to the whole like oh girls only do that for social media. I'm sure some people do do some things because they see it on social media or because of social media, but I feel like. All right, y'all, my bracelet got stuck in my necklace while I was washing my face. Literally had silk in my eye, I was so scared. I know how, like, I don't know how this turned into like a podcast rant while I'm getting ready, but <laughs> what time is it? We got some time, that's why I'm like chatting. Let's say, for example, that is like the case, like a girl seen on social media. Oh, wait, this girl, when she goes on a date, she gets flowers, she gets, the guy be picking her up, I don't know, whatever, like whatever, right? And then she might be like, wait, I like that. Like, I do like that. Like, that's actually something I'm looking for in a relationship. That's actually something I would want my partner to do. Okay, so boom, I just seen that on TikTok. But now I'm realizing like, that's actually a standard that I want. In those moments, like, even though you might've found out on social media, that doesn't mean that that can't be a standard for you. Me personally, <clears throat> when it comes to flowers and opening the door for me, that goes back to my childhood. Like, as long as I can remember. And to this day, my dad opens every single door for me. Like, every single door for me. The only door he don't open is like the house door because I'd be going in before him. But he opens my car door, he opens the building doors, like all that. And he's been doing that since I was a little girl. So for me, that is a standard. Like that is something I grew up on. And my dad don't play about that. That and pumping the gas, he like, he he really be like, you know, like he don't play that. <laughs> okay. For you to even be in my life, for me, I want you to be able to open the door and buy me flowers. My dad has always also bought me flowers. Like every single year on Valentine's Day, he would buy me flowers, all that other stuff. And I generally just love flowers. Like I love flowers, they're so pretty. I love nature, I love outside, I love plants and stuff like that. So I love flowers, I feel like they're just such a sign of endearment and like, oh, you were thinking about me when you looked at these flowers, that's so cute. Like I just feel like that really shows that someone's like thinking about you and caring about you, so. And um, I'm not a very like material, like very big on materialistic things. I know that I can provide those things for myself, so it's like, 
I would rather for my significant other to like buy me flowers, do stuff like that than anything else. Like handwritten letters. Like, but actually like that's so cute to me. Like for real, I have them saved over there. Best believe. It doesn't matter if it was high school. If you have written me a handwritten letter, I have that. <laughs> I have it, okay? So that's just how I feel about at least that, like the whole like, you only like it for the internet. I feel like people have to realize that certain people have different standards. Like, I'm gonna have different standards than the next girl. For me, I could be like, I like I like for you to open my door, da, da, da. She could be like, no, don't touch my door. Like, I can't open my own door, woo, woo. So, from there, if you, like, as a dude, know, like, I don't wanna do that. Like, you know how some guys are, like, some guys, some girls, you know how some people are oh i don't do that i don't do that like whatever it is like it could be anything like what whatever one what of your standards is like they go, oh, i don't do that i don't do that okay bye deuces like don't that's what i've learned though like don't entertain stuff don't like literally don't if somebody wants to do something and you've told them like this makes me happy this makes me feel good and they like you even something as simple as like this is my love language you know like i'm trying to tell you like the way to my heart if you're telling them exactly what they need to do to like show you that they care about you or whatever they don't give a fuck okay because they feel like they don't have to do none of that to keep you or to get you or whatever if they feel like that that's fine deuces we're gone but they're gonna be like damn wait she actually wanted flowers she actually want like she was serious about that yeah bookie duh and I feel like that's the hardest thing for me personally is standing on those standards. Like I feel like that is the one thing that I struggle with the most and also one of the things that I've been working on the most. Looking back, I really, it made me upset like that I was wavering on that standard at all. Like my standards, like when it comes to even just opening the door, I feel like that's literally like I told you all, bam, 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 I feel, like I feel like if you already doing too much and tripping over that, Y'all, I don't really remember what I was finna say, but, um, <laughs> my camera died. So, um, what's to say? But, my podcast is gonna be ready soon, y'all, okay? I'm trying to get the stuff, because how I want to record it, I want the background to be cute, so I'm trying to find a cute little, like, background, but, that's not really part ready. We finna just get started. 8.30, okay. So I was supposed to be just not waking up. I'm trying to leave at 9.15. But yeah. I will see you guys all more in the car. Headed to the bank. Hey babes. Okay so. I just left my lash appointment y'all. They're so cute. I love how my lash is done. I gotta get used to how they look again though. Because when I first get my lashes done. I always feel like they're so dark. This is my first time my lashes done with my brown hair. So. I'm just trying to get used to them. They just be feeling dark at first, but I feel like a day or two, I'd be like real used to them and then they're really, really cute. They're already cute, but y'all know what I mean? Even when I just dyed my hair brown, I had to like look at myself a couple of times. I was like, so yeah. Anyways, y'all, we're at Publix because I have to grab a few things for dinner and just some stuff I ran out of. So we're about to do that. Y'all, I love that lash tag. She was so sweet, so nice. She gave me a little care bag that has like spoolies um a punch card and just like her ig and stuff like that i'll put her page on the screen and then i'll show you guys what my lashes look like for real when we get home because i have better lighting i don't know what i'm gonna eat for lunch but i have not eaten today it's 12 48 y'all the reason why i ended up not seeing y'all before my lash appointment was because i had too much going on i literally was running everywhere like i I had to take out cash to get my lashes done and I went to the bank that I normally go to or the ATM or whatever that I normally go to to take money out. First of all, it's hot as shit and I'm literally wearing sweatpants, but whew, also I have the hiccups. I went to the ATM that I usually go to and why was it closed? Yo, the lighting? Okay. Why was the ATM that I usually go to closed? So I had to go somewhere else, which was very annoying. And I was like running around and then I realized the lash check lived farther than I thought, so it was just... I had a lot going on. I'm trying to think of everything I need. Every time I'm like, oh, I don't need a basket, I need a basket. Yo, I'm hungry. Oh my God. Yo, 
y'all, look how crazy the fit is. It's way too high. The security guard is definitely like, what the fuck is this girl doing? He like slowed down. He was like, what? <laughs> ah, it's so hot. Uh. On hold for your convenience. Go to Panther Anther and submit a ticket. Hi guys, so I'm back home. Whew, y'all, I showered and I just got changed. I was thinking about going to Target or getting Chick fil A, but which Hazel, the lemongrass one, just got my lashes done. I just want a fresh little canvas, you know. So I was back home around one. Having my lashes done literally makes me feel so happy. Like, Oh my gosh. I was thinking about going to Chick-fil-A or going to Target because y'all, I still want to get these leggings from Target that I've been trying to get if y'all saw the last vlog. Like, yes, I still want these leggings. Y'all, I cannot multitask when I'm doing my brows. Y'all, my eyebrows, I need to get them done. I need to get them waxed. That's not a problem for right now. That's a problem for later. But I just got my lashes done, as y'all know. So when I was taking, when I was taking my shower, I was trying to like not get the shower all steamy so my lashes could like set. Yo, I'm definitely fan to get new foundation because my shit is like on its last legs. It's about that time, y'all. I need to go to the mall. This shit drying kind of fast. Hold on. Yo, I have to get back used to like doing everything with nails. And so it's taken me a minute to adjust. It hasn't been 24 hours yet, so it's fine. But yeah, I gotta adjust back. I'm struggling a little bit. Like I'm over here like, how do I grab stuff? I haven't had long nails in so long. Like my past like three sets have all been short. The one for the cruise was short, the one for Orange Crush was short, and then the one before that was short too. And I know my Christmas set was short. I know that was a while ago, but am I in a new era? I told, I was like, oh, I can never get short nails. What's the point? What's the point? And then I got them. Yo, what was I saying? I literally don't remember. We're still on hold and looks like we're gonna be on hold for like a very really long time. Yo, I love blush. Like, this is so pretty to me. That is so pretty to me like oh my goodness i love blush y'all my like chill perfume that i can like spray a lot of this one right now bath and body works champagne toast it smells so good it's like i don't know how to explain it can you give me more lip gloss I also need to give me my Fenty Beauty one because I ran out of it. I had the hot chocolate or whatever that one's called. Yeah, that one was so pretty. Okay, y'all, we're at Chick-fil-A. I was, I'm like back getting in my not away face. So it's currently who we're listening to. Y'all, tell me why one of my lashes came out. <laughs> Can I get a number one with no pickle, um, fries, and a lemonade? Y'all, I painted my toenails white, like all white. I don't know how I feel about it. I haven't done all white toes in a minute. I usually, I've been doing French tip on myself for like almost a year now. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't really like it as much as French tip. Like, I feel like I've done, con I've converted over. Like, I think I'm a French tip girly now because I used to get all white toes, but it's not hitting the same for me. And I'm the one that has to look at them. So we're probably going to go back to French. Stick to what you know, girl. Stick to what you know. But yeah, I'm so happy I got my lashes done, y'all. I put on my bonnet whenever I was taking my shower. And I was like, yeah, this is what I live for. Like, the lashes with the bonnet it eats. It's going to eat. It's going to devour every time. For a yes. Thank you. Perfect. Yo, I'm so hungry. Okay, I'm going to... Get to Target and then we finna eat and stuff and then go in.